Good afternoon, panel. I'd like to thank Chairwoman Kaptur and Ranking Member Simpson for holding today's member day hearing. I appreciate the opportunity to engage with all members of this subcommittee and advocate for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers projects that are essential to strengthening the economy of Northwest Indiana, the entire Midwest, and our nation. I have the great honor and privilege of representing Indiana's first congressional district, following in the footsteps of my mentor and friend, Chairman Pete Vyskowski. Our district is at the center of vital road, rail, air, and port networks and home to major manufacturing industries. This infrastructure, coupled with our incredible workforce and adjacency to the great city of Chicago, enables our region to continue to attract new businesses and talent. Northwest Indiana is proud to have the largest concentration of steel production and the largest inland oil refinery in our country. These industries foster economic activity and provide good paying union jobs to thousands of workers in my district. From maintaining the federal navigation depths to our, of our commercial harbors, to ensuring Northwest Indiana residents have clean drinking water, the Chicago District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is a true hero and unparalleled longstanding partner when it comes to facilitating economic development and promoting environmental stewardship in Northwest Indiana. Chairman Vyskowski would often state that the U.S. Corps of Engineers projects serve as an economic driver in Indiana's first congressional district, and I agree wholeheartedly. I appreciate that community project funding is an important step in reasserting the constitutional prerogatives of the legislative branch, and I fully understand the importance of the subcommittee to thoughtfully scrutinize member requests. I believe it is critical that we exercise our constitutional, our constitutional authority to direct funding to our districts, and it is incumbent for us to submit scrutinized project requests that are beyond reproach and focused on the criteria set forth in this subcommittee. For the first district of Indiana, I would note in the interest of time that the subcommittee has my written testimony and additional community supporting material. And should you need any other information of material, please do not hesitate to let me know. But in short, I have asked this subcommittee to appropriate community project funding to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer construction account for the specific purpose of undertaking environmental infrastructure projects in the Calumet region. Funding to complete the Corps' construction activities of the confined disposal facility and assist the Indiana Harbor. And funding for the Corps' operation and maintenance activities in Burns Waterway Harbor. In closing, I would like to again take a moment to recognize my predecessor, Chairman Pete Vyskowski, who served on this subcommittee with distinction for many years. Mr. Vyskowski showed myself and Northwest Indiana the incredible value of the House Appropriations Committee and what responsible federal investments can do to transform local communities. Chairwoman Kaptur, Ranking Member Simpson, and all members of this subcommittee, I look forward to building on Congressman Vyskowski's most positive legacy and developing a strong relationship with all of you so that we may work in a collaborative and productive manner to deliver for Northwest Indiana and all the American people. I thank you once again for the opportunity to testify today. Thank you.